You say, welcome back, Buckeye Nation. So there'll be a high of followed by Portugal, Sweden, and the U.S. Welcome back, Buckeye Nation, to your Caribou Data Science channel. Before we get started, I have one favor to ask you folks today. That is, you click on that share button, share this video today on your favorite uh, social media account. You can share it on Facebook, Twitter. You can even share it in emails and text messages, okay? Let's go and get this report started for the state of Ohio. The good news is we, we have now passed all the shenanigans from February 2020, and so the numbers should be cleaner from this point on out. Okay, Buckeye Nation, let's see what you got here. Well, you can see here that, oh, no, we had a nice declining pattern here for COVID-19 cases. Now we're starting to see it. Now, while we got these spikes here, as usual, there's some more shenanigans going on with the numbers. The cases, because supposedly they're recording cases every single day. Okay, but this doesn't look like every single day uh, occurrence to me. I mean, that's almost to the point where it's not even worth looking at Ohio numbers because you don't really know what they're doing. Uh, and again, on a weekly basis, the, we can see even here, we saw the last three weeks, we saw a bit of an increase in COVID-19 cases in the state of Ohio, okay? Deaths had a slight declining pattern here, okay? COVID-19 cases, what about monthly monthly deaths? Well, you can see we, we, we're, we're, we have a two-month decline in COVID-19 uh, cases in the state of Ohio. Hopefully, uh, April will be the third month in a row. Well, there's a chance that April may be the second month in a row we see a decline in COVID-19 uh, uh, COVID deaths, okay, for the state of Ohio. So anyway, Buckeye Nation, that does conclude your report for today. Again, I got that favorite ask you. Click on that share button. Share this video today on your favorite social media accounts, okay?